I am a proud St. Kitts and Nevis citizen. I invested $150,000 into a Caribbean country and I got their citizenship and their passport. And I talk about it a lot on this channel. I tell my clients to go and get Caribbean citizenship in three to six months. You can be a citizen of a new, beautiful, tax-free country that allows you to travel to over 150 countries around the world. But what is the future of these passports? At the end of the day, they are small islands. They have relationships with many countries around the world, but there are countries that want to bully them. The US recently bullied all citizenship by investment countries, saying you cannot accept Russian citizens. And they bullied Grenada, another Caribbean country that used to offer E2 visa to the United States. Now they cannot get the E2 visa unless Grenadian citizens live in Grenada three years or more. So if you get the Grenada passport, you cannot apply for the E2 visa to the United States unless you live there three years. Europe and the UK are also bullying Caribbean citizenship programs because they have access, visa-free access to the Schengen area and to the UK. These countries can say, increase your due diligence, make it harder for people to get citizenship, make sure no Russians get citizenship because we have that visa-free travel to their region. Obviously, they have the power in that situation. And if the Caribbean countries say they don't want to comply with those regulations, we could lose access to the Schengen area, to Europe, and basically have a passport that doesn't let you access most countries around the world. Now, do I see it happening that our passports lose access to the Schengen area and to the UK? Recently, one of my friends, David Lesperance, made an article on how the UK might take citizenship by investment countries out of their visa-free list because a lot of spies are getting this passport. A lot of Chinese spies are getting St. Kitts passports, are getting Grenada, St. Lucia, and they're accessing the UK with these passports. Even though I'm a proud St. Kitts citizen, I'm also very pragmatic. We don't know if we're gonna lose that access, but we might. There's, let's say, a 20, 25% chance that we lose access to the Schengen area, that we lose access to the UK. So if you're considering getting a Caribbean passport, I I wouldn't make it your only passport. I would make it your plan B passport. And I would make it part of a portfolio. Now I have multiple passports. I don't just have my St. Kitts passport. I have other passports that I can rely on. And we help our clients get St. Kitts, get other passports that I can't talk about here on the channel. You can get other programs that are legal, that you can get other passports around the world. So you can combine this multiple citizenships and then continue with that access to the UK to Europe and not rely on only one citizenship. Also, if you're a St. Kitts citizen or Grenada or Dominica or any other citizenship by investment country, you can also get, for example, permanent residency programs. Malta offers their permanent residency for 100,000 euros. You basically make a donation of 100,000 euros to Malta and now you have permanent access to Malta and permanent lifetime access visa-free to the Schengen area. You cannot live in the Schengen area, but you can go in 90 out of every 180 days, just like many passports around the world. So even if you're a St. Kitts citizen and we lose access to the Schengen area, because you have your Malta permanent residency, you can always access the Schengen area, even if your passport itself doesn't let you. So you don't need to get a Schengen visa every time you actually want to go. That could also be a strategy. Or if you're at a high enough net worth, then you could get Malta citizenship and then solve or your problems. Then you have access to the US, to Canada, to Australia, obviously to live in the European Union, and you can get that in a year and a half. So there's options that you can add on to your current citizenship, but I will always advise clients to not only have one Caribbean country as their passport, especially if you renounce US citizenship, and then you get another passport, like a Caribbean passport, and you just get that one, and you keep that one for the rest of your life, it's always good to have one more. That's why I'm investing in countries like Serbia. That's why I'm investing in countries around the world because I want as many citizenships as possible. And you could, for example, have your children in a country where you can get citizenship like Uruguay, Argentina, Brazil. That could then help you get that citizenship faster in one year, potentially. So you have multiple strategies around the world. Don't just rely on one single citizenship because yes, at some point we might lose access to the Schengen area and the UK, even though there's a 20, 25% chance. And just to note, if you're looking to get a second passport, whether it's from the Caribbean or from many other countries that offer their citizenship, make sure to book a call with the link in the description. We'll tell you everything we have to offer. Now, last thing, losing access to the Schengen area or the UK will not make these passports obsolete and nobody's gonna buy them anymore. Because in the case of Vanuatu, who lost access to the Schengen area because of their practices, because of their little due diligence, people still buy that passport because they still want to have a second 
second option. They still want to have a plan B. So even if Caribbean Passport lose that access, I would still recommend buying them because you're still a citizen of a new country and you still have South America, Asia, some countries in Africa that you can travel to without a visa. If you want to see another passport that you should consider getting right now instead of Caribbean citizenship to improve your travel freedom, to have options around the world and to have a country you can belong to, check out this video right here on the best passport you've never heard of. Check it out right now.